Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Thursday. Hope you're having a great week of betting so far and hope you're having a great week as well too. Hope you had a nice day betting on Wednesday. Hope you guys cashed out, which is the main goal, you know. So we're going to get right into these NHL videos or these NHL picks. 10 games on this Thursday slate. Before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Support the channel. You guys already know what to do. Let's get into these NHL matchups. First matchup of the day, we have Florida Panthers versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Florida Panthers 16, 5, and 4. Columbus 10, 12, and 5. Florida opening up as favorites at minus 125 with the over under at 5.5. Last 10 matchups head to head Columbus 7, 2, and 1. Florida 3, 4, and 3. Last 10 games overall for Florida, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, Columbus 3-7 and seven in their last 10. These two teams coming off a of back-to-back with Florida picking up a 4-2 win just a, you know, just a day or two ago. Florida 3-10 and 10 in their last 13 against Columbus, Columbus 2-7 and seven in their last 9, 1-4 and four in their last 5 games at home, not playing very good at home. You know, I like Florida coming. I like Florida to come and you know sweep the doubleheader here at minus one twenty-five money line, and um, I like the over to hit as well. I think Columbus scores a little more this game, so I like Florida in that matchup. Next matchup, we have the Nashville Predators versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Nashville eleven fourteen and one, Carolina eighteen six and one. Carolina opening up as big favorites at minus two twenty, with the over under at five and a half. Last ten matchups head to head: Carolina nine one and zero, Nashville one seven and two. Last ten games overall for Nashville: five and five in their last ten. Carolina seven and three in their last ten. These two teams coming off a you know a part of a doubleheader right now. With Carolina picking up a three to two win over Nashville, they beat them four to two a few days before, about a week ago as well. So beat them, they're two and zero in their last two right now. Nashville one and ten in their last eleven against Carolina, just no success against Carolina. Carolina's on a six game winning streak right now, five and one at home in their last six. You know, give me Carolina minus two twenty. I like the over in this matchup as well. Love Carolina as a parlay candidate. I didn't even mention it in the beginning of the video, which I got to start doing, but I do have an NHL parlay at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I'm trying to figure out the best way to incorporate these parlays, whether to be separate videos or inside my NHL videos. So, you know, I'm still working on it. So that'll be at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Next matchup, we have the New Jersey Devils versus the New York Islanders. New Jersey 8 11 and 3, New York 16 6 and 4, New York opening up as massive favorites at minus 200, New Jersey plus 170 with the over under at 5. Last 10 matchups head to head, New York 7 and 3, New Jersey 3 4 and 3. Last 10 games overall for New Jersey just 2 and 8 in their last 10, New York 8 and 2 in their last 10, New Jersey just 1 and 6 in their last 7. Two and seven in their last nine against the Islanders. You know, Islanders are on a six game winning streak right now, five and oh at home. You know, give me the Islanders money line here, minus 200. Definitely going to add them to a parlay. And, you know, I'd, I like the under five. I think it's the low scoring. Devils just having trouble to score. You know, I like Islanders to put up some goals in this matchup and uh, get a nice little win. Next matchup, we had the New York Rangers versus the Boston Bruins. New York Rangers 10, 11, and 3. Boston 13, 6, and 4. Boston opening up as favorites at minus 180 with the over under at 5.5. Last 10 head to head. Boston 7, 2, and 1. New York 3, 5, and 2. Last 10 games overall for the Rangers 6, and 4 in their last 10. Boston 3, and 7 in their last 10. Rangers one and seven in their last eight games against Boston. You know Boston two and five in their last seven. Yeah, I mean I I like 
you know, Boston definitely, you know, Boston's, I'm a, you know, I got to do it. I like the Rangers in this matchup at plus 160. I just do. Nothing's really, I, I know the Rangers are one in seven in their last eight, but Boston hasn't really impressed me that much this season. You know, both teams coming off back to back, you know, on a two game losing streak for both teams. I like the Rangers to get a little upset victory at plus 160. I like the over at five and a half as well. Next matchup, we had the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Buffalo Sabres. Pittsburgh 15, 9, and 1. Buffalo 6, 14, and 4. Pittsburgh opening up as favorites at minus 200. Buffalo plus 170 with the over under at 6. Last 10 head to head matchups Pitt 6, 2, and 2. Buffalo 4, 5, and 1. Last 10 games overall for Pitt, they are 7 and 3 in their last 10. Buffalo just 1 and 9 in their last 10. Very bad Buffalo team. Pitt 4 and 1 in their last 5. They're 15 and 5 in their last 20 against Buffalo. So they've been able to beat Buffalo pretty good in the last 20. Buffalo on an 8 game losing streak, 0 and 6 at home. Don't want to touch this Buffalo team. Give me Pitt minus 200. Going to add them to a parlay. I like the under at six as well. Next matchup, we have the Washington Capitals versus the Philadelphia Flyers. Washington Capitals 15, 6, and 4. Philly 13, 7, and 3. Both teams minus 110, so pretty even odds with the over under at six. Last 10 head to head, Washington 5, 5, and 0. Philly 5, 4, and 1. Last 10 games overall for Washington, 7, and 3 in their last 10. Philly six and four in their last ten. No, I'm sorry, five and five in their last ten. Washington six and one in their last seven. Five and one in their last six on the road. So Washington's been able to cover on the road pretty well. Philly two and four in their last six at home. You know, you can go either way in this matchup, really. You know, I think I'm I lean Washington Capitals here, but you can make you can go for Philly as well. It's an even odds. But I'd probably put my money on the Capitals to get a victory here. And I also like the over. I think both teams score a lot in this. So I'll take Washington. Next matchup, we have the Winnipeg Jets versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Winnipeg Jets 16-8-1. Toronto 18-7-2. Toronto opening up as favorites at minus 175. Winnipeg plus 155 with the over-under at 6.5. Last 10 head-to-head 6-2-2 for Toronto. Winnipeg 4, 5, and 1. Last 10 games overall for Winnipeg. They are 7 and 3 in their last 10. Toronto, 6 and 4 in their last 10 as well. Winnipeg, 7 and 2 in their last 9. 3 and 6 in their last 9, meaning is against Toronto. So, you know, not too much success against Toronto. Toronto, 13 and 7 in their last 20. I mean, you know, Toronto should be favorites here, you know, definitely. They've won the head-to-head battle, and um, you know Toronto's a better team in this matchup. Give me Toronto money line, and I like the under as well. Six and a half seems a tad bit too high for me. Last couple matchups, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Detroit Red Wings. Tampa Bay Lightning eighteen four and two, Detroit seven sixteen and four. Tampa Bay opening up as monster favorites at minus three fifty, Detroit plus two ninety, with the over/under at five and a half. Last 10 head-to-head meetings, Tampa Bay 9-0-1, Detroit 1-7-2. Last 10 head-to-head, or last 10 overall meetings for Tampa Bay, they are 8-2 in their last 10, Detroit 3-7 in their last 10. You know, Tampa Bay coming off a win against Detroit 4-3 last meeting with the same odds, minus 350, so don't expect much to change here in this matchup. Tampa Bay 8-1 in their last 9. 19-1 19-1 and one in their last 20 meetings against Detroit. I mean, do I need to say any more? Detroit, just 2-7 and seven in their last 9 at home. Yeah, I don't want any part of this Detroit team. Give me Tampa Bay minus 350. They'll be added to the parlay for sure. I like the under at 5.5 as well. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Dallas Stars. Chicago 13-9-5. Dallas 8-8-5. Dallas opening up as favorites at minus 145. Chicago plus 125 with the over-under at 5.5. 
Last 10 head-to-head meetings, Chicago 6-3-1, Dallas 4-4-2. Last 10 games overall, Chicago 5-5 in their last 10, Dallas 3-7 in their last 10. You know, Dallas coming off a huge win against Chicago just, you know, just a day ago, winning 6-1 against Chicago, being the favorite. Chicago 2-4 in their last 6, 6-2 in their last 8 on the road. Dallas 3 and 11 in their last 14, 7 and 2 in their last 9 on the road. You know, Chicago got destroyed last game 6 to 1. And you know, I picked Chicago and I'm doing it again. I like Chicago in this matchup. No way they're getting, you know, hopefully they make some adjustments and they don't get be 6 to 1. I like them at plus 125 against a bad Dallas team. You know, Chicago played bad last game, but I I like Chicago to bounce back on the doubleheader. Look for Chicago to get a little revenge on tonight. I also like the over as well. Last matchup of the night, we have the Montreal Canadiens versus the Calgary Flames. Montreal 11-6-2. I'm sorry, 11-6-7. Calgary 11-12-3. Calgary favorites at minus 115. Montreal minus 105. With the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 head-to-head meetings, Montreal 7-2-1. Calgary 3-6-1. Last 10 games overall for Montreal, 3-7 in their last 10. Cal, 3-7 in their last 10 as well. You know, Montreal just, you know, 2-2 two two in their last four. But before that, they were riding a five-game losing streak. You know, Calgary currently riding a two-game losing streak, losing three out of their last four. Not too, not too excited about either team in this matchup. Montreal does own the head-to-head, and that's honestly the only reason why I'll pick Montreal in this matchup. You know, I'm staying away from this matchup for sure, but Montreal, you know, I'll take Montreal money line. I'll take the under as well. That's going to do it for these picks. Oh, and I do have my parlay. I got to keep on remembering these, so I do have a parlay for you guys. Thank you guys for staying at the end of the video. I really appreciate it. going to do the parlays at the end of the video, so give you guys a look for something to forward to at the end of the videos. We have the NHL parlay. It's going to be a money line parlay, four teamer. We're going to go with, I'll have it all in the description, of course. We got the Islanders money line, Hurricanes money line, Penguins money line, and Lightning money line. $100 will win you $320. So, pretty good parlay for me. Um, so, yeah, let's hope the parlay hits. And go ahead and go ahead and uh, comment if the parlay does hit. And you guys did copy it. Tell me if it hits. Let me know how much you bet. I love seeing that. I've been seeing people put that. And it's been super cool to see and, um, you know, respond to. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you already have and Support the channel. You guys have already been blowing up these videos. It's been awesome. And um, good luck with your betting on Thursday. Hope you guys cash out and hope we all get rich. See you guys on Friday. Good luck.